All right, let's get out of here. I need to just find out where I actually am. I'm not sure where this private room is. Are we gonna get BB snippet? Need more. Give me more. Why? A BB cat did it. Either that or a sacrifice. Why is Bridget wearing the mask? A foundation. A bridge. Episode 10, Die Hardman. So we're going to find out more about him this time. Probably have to rescue him from Mads. Where am I? Oh, they built an actual thing here. <laughs> See, Zach. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Up the back. I hear my mouth. Um, right, so we have to go all the way back to Lake Knot City. Um, so I'm probably going to use my zip lines to get back up here and then maybe drop down from the veteran porter and go across the roads and drive back. I reckon. Um, I do want to, I have to make a pit stop though. I got a mail. Which I had to read like three times before I actually realised what this said. So I didn't do this on the channel. Um, but there's a guy that you, if you've played this, you'll probably know this. Um, you order, deliver a pizza for from Lake Knot City to his house. Peter Englert. And then he like, he wasn't there. So you don't actually see them. And then you get this message after you just do that last bit that I did. And Peter Englert is friggin' Higgs. <laughs> So he said that he's unlocked his house, uh, or private quarters, um, so I'm definitely going to be making a pit stop there, which is Kia. So uh, I want to go and have a nose around Higgs' house. But I read it and I was like, oh, is he going to complain because I didn't deliver the second pizza that he wanted. And then at the bottom it said Higgs and I was like, wait, what? And then had to read it through again and he mentions obviously the bomb and not delivering that. And I was just like, wait a second. <laughs> so this seemingly innocuous little interaction that you have um, is actually quite significant. Wait. All of my stuff. Mm. Taking all my stuff. Um... Wait, my stuff isn't even in there? What the heck? Where did they put my stuff then? I feel ripped off! <laughs> yeah, I know about the strands now. <laughs> I practice with them now. Sam, it's hard. Hi, Hammond. Be advised that chiral density in regions predisposed to strandings has increased dramatically. No doubt the beach is to blame. BTs drawn into our world under these circumstances may be affected in unpredictable ways. Well, that doesn't sound good. It's going on, look right. Yeah, why is it all, um. Aurora What's going on? <laughs> I'm a bit scared to walk around. It's making me walk as well at the moment because it's all wet. I might have some stuff in this form. Oh. oh yeah, I can take that with me too. Um, I definitely want to take some of these stuff. I'll put the boots on my thing in a second. Um, I will take one of these. Can't believe it's taken all my stuff from me. Take a couple of these because I might be able to 
set up some more stuff. I'm glad I dumped all this stuff in uh, this place now. I don't think I can carry more. Um, I don't really use these. I'm a little bit worried what's going to happen with that BTs might act weird thing. It's really raining. Like a lot right now. I want the zip line of safety. That's one good thing about zip lines. No getting a uh, BP. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, what is with the night sky right now? I see, see, like, us having done the network has just made things really unstable. We should have just stopped before Edge Not City. Everything was fine up until that point. Now look at it. somewhere. I don't know where though. Yeah, sure, but you might not want to, to be honest, anymore. <laughs> it's a bit on the fritz right now. Not the best uh, network to be joining. had that on the network so it didn't really fill out a patch um yeah i'm placing my trust and my faith in you for now time will tell if i'm a fool for doing so yeah i know right hey it's me that you. you're not you gonna want to worry another. about reckon you'll need it eventually what is it water <laughs> Okay. Thanks. Take care, Sam. I've got high hopes for you. Okay. Good work. New order available. Should we take any orders from him? I can't remember what you had. Temple farm. Geologist. Collection, weather station. Nah, I'll do this later. 
Help me out right now. Okay, so. Oh. Hello. Sam, do you copy? I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. To recap, Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative mm -hmm. whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. Yes. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. Yeah, I got that. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let he you know Use the dad of BB. Sam. Bridget wanted to use BB. And he didn't want that. Tried to steal BB. Got shot. Died. In an undetermined way. These guys are following me. <laughs> Considering I used zip lines to get here and they made it here this quick. It's a bit suspicious. Um, that's my theory, anyway. That seems to be what everything that we've seen is showing us. Thanks. Alright, I might take this. And... Is that a... Okay. I mean, it's right here. Do I drop it off? Wait a second. Who put that ladder there? I'll stretch my legs. <laughs> I mean... Oh crap, okay. It's a bit taller than I thought it was. <laughs> it's just like, really? <laughs> um, let me just drop this off and then I'll head off. I have no idea how I'm gonna get down from here. That way, maybe? Alrighty, we can drive all the way back now. I wonder if anything of interest will happen. I, uh... <laughs> so this tool neck right here scared the crap out of me the other day when I was coming down here because I was looking around um, not paying attention coming this way and suddenly that popped out of nowhere in front of me it was just a massive thing <laughs> it took a couple of seconds to register what it actually was when I cracked my pants because just suddenly there was a big monster in front of me and then I realized <laughs> that was the first one I've actually seen in the game um, so it was cool I could use my boost, but I'll save it just in case like mules appear along the line somewhere because that happened to me on the way down here. I don't actually know if you can encounter BTs on here when you're on the road. Can they get on the road or is the road safe? Doesn't stop mules, that's for sure. Oh. Hello. Sam. You're not going to believe what I found. It's about the BP experiments, their true purpose. Mm -hmm. According to official records, they were continued in secret on the order of President Strand, supposedly with the primary objective of developing BT detectors and preventing void outs. But not actually. And advancements that could be applied to the fields of chiral communications and beach research were meant to be of purely secondary benefit. But it turns out that's just the cover story. The truth is, Sam, BBs were originally conceived as catalysts for the operation of the chiral network. They're integrated into the infrastructure of Knox Cities for that very reason. Every single one you've brought into the fold. Which is why we had to take one to that edge Knox City. She moved west with the first expedition, carrying out her mother's grand plan making sacrifice after sacrifice on the altar of progress. President Strand told the people what they wanted to hear and did what she thought had to be done. 
also America could be whole again. And I'm starting to wonder if it didn't cost her her soul. Yep. The chiral network is our greatest creation, our proudest achievement, and our guiltiest sin. I don't know how to feel about it all. Maybe if we knew more about Cliff and the BB experiments, we'd be better placed to judge. I think we're probably going to find out. Uh, I knew that there was that was weird. The whole taking a BB thing there. Um, the other thing I was thinking of, right, with um, Lou, is oh yeah, I was just going to see if I could do that pizza still, <laughs> even though he's no longer there because he's dead, right? Um, obviously, Bridget was quite young in that flashback, as was John, presumably. So how long ago was that? I can't remember how, if it said. They probably did at some point, I can't remember. But they... Um, said that BBs only last a year, right? So Lou is obviously special. Sticky guns. Let's kind of put this on. Um, can I still do it? No, it doesn't look like. I did think I wouldn't probably be able to. Why did I have something for the garage? Oh, just because I've got the truck in there. Okay. Ah, it's a shame I didn't go do that pizza delivery now. I'm sure he said it was from this centre. Bit better condition than mine. Let's go. Yeah, turning circle. Bad turning circle. <laughs> I haven't built a road for a while. I did build one on the way up to that place, but that was that was a while back now. I think I've only got like two or three pieces to connect to South Knot City. Just rain, like, can't see a thing. Still got it. Keep on keeping on. I'm not really sure what the noise is when you're on these roads either, because it's like it sounds like you know huge wings flapping, bizarre. This is really eerie as well. This actually, the feel of this is very similar to. Um, Final Fantasy 15. I did. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I did that in the too early. So we're probably almost back now. I'm a little disorientated actually right now. I think I know where I am. <laughs> but it's hard to tell when it's all like misty almost like this. Wait. Let me just check the map because I don't want to miss going. I probably could just cut across now. Oh. Hey Sam, I see you're coming up on Lake Knot. Yes. Stay strong. We're all rooting for you to finish the job and come home safe. By the way, I've made more progress in a certain investigation. 
It seems that Clifford Unger willingly put his own child in the care of the scientists conducting the BB experiments. I'm aware. But he did so completely unaware of their true intentions. This is pure speculation, but I think when Cliff found out about their plans, he attempted to reclaim custody. And after he failed, the BB remained in the program's care. In which case, he would have every reason to bear a grudge towards the president, the woman who allowed it all to happen, don't you think? Mm. But just because President Strand is dead, doesn't mean his hate died with her. She's not oh, fully I dead though. Directed it towards Bridges, towards you and Amelie and anyone close to the director. And now that hate is driving him to set in motion the last stranding, to bring an end to the world as we know it. Why else would Cliff hold Amelie hostage on the beach? He must know that she's an EE. He's not holding There's her no hostage. To lose. You have to save her and the director. I don't buy this but at all. I still all. don't understand how he managed to travel to her beach in the first place. There Bridget be summoned him or something weird. I'll see what I can find. Because Amelie is Bridget. That's my theory. Somehow. <laughs> uh, that way. Good. Oh, wait. That way. Let me, let me, let me put Mark on. I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get lost if I don't put a marker on, let's face it. It's not far. Oops. I wonder if I'm gonna run into any BBs. BTs, not BBs. Ah! Muddy rocks. Alright, I'm gonna just say that other than depression is that big rock, I'm a little impressed that I managed to do a weenie for that long. <laughs> I'm usually not very good at doing those at all. Oh, it's so hard to tell where I'm going. Eh. It's probably easier just to run, it wouldn't blow up. I want to see what's going to happen here. Oh. Yeah, I never actually connected to the network either, because the delivery I made didn't like do anything to up it, pretty much. It's irritating. <laughs> And then I didn't go back and do it, uh, the other one, and now I don't know if I can even do it. It's a shame. Uh, rocks! Rocks! Bloody rocks! Uh, there are far too many rocks in this game! <laughs> of their acting strangely has concerned me. Okay. It's actually open too. We've never been inside one of these. This is really cool. I'm excited. It's not very fancy. Whoa. Higgs was here. God particle go getter. <laughs> Game over, Sam. Sam the particle of God. Um He might have been a little bit obsessed. Can I like yeah. No, no, found. Um, Sam, has he just like been following me? He has. He's got loads of photos of me. That's um, Lisa. A little disturbing. Why has he got so many photos of me? Why was he so obsessed with me? Pick up. There we go. Oh, it's a memory chip. I didn't even see it. Something else in here. Well, this was disturbing. Hey, look, there's the pizza. <laughs> okay, that was cool. Scary stalker Higgs. Interesting. 
explains why he wasn't here though when uh, I was dropping stuff off. Wait, do I not have my uh, auto hood on? How dare I? Oops, I, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, auto hood. Okay, get me on my bike. Stop punching it. There we go. Okay, let's go to the city. It's probably just as good to run. Look at this. Are we gonna have another run in with our boy, do you think? Oops. I think we might. It's getting a bit stormy. But you know what? I might just run. I'm gonna run. It's definitely another mad thing coming up. Look at this. Is it going to be the final showdown with Mads? Mule boots. When did I pick up mule boots? I've got just one laying around. Well, he's happy about something. I don't know what. Mads coming to visit. Old Clifford Unger. Got a moment, Sam? It's about the director. Yeah. So there's no way he could have made the jump to Amelie's Beach if they didn't share a strong personal connection, right? Well, I looked, and I couldn't see one. That's because it's Bridget's Beach. The network should have contained something, anything, but there was nothing whatsoever. His entire life prior to his tenure with Bridges has been redacted. His name, his past, everything. His name's John. There's no telling who he was. I know that much. Which led me to consider another possibility. What if it isn't the director and Amelie who have a connection, but the director and Clifford Unger? Yep. And what if that connection is what facilitated the director's jump to Amelie's beach? If it's those two who have a personal history, then it might explain why Cliff is holding the director hostage as well. I don't think that's that what's happening. Case, it doesn't answer the bigger question. How the hell did the two of them end up on Amelie's beach? Because it's Bridget's beach. Sam, Hartman here. There's something else I'd like you to consider. Mm -hmm. A guess, albeit an educated one, concerning Cliff's objective. Somehow, with the aid of the chiral network, our individual beaches have begun to coalesce resulting in the formation of a single massive seam. Should this process continue, there is a risk that BTs will flood across into our world, bringing about a death stranding on a heretofore unprecedented scale. So we messed now, up. Clifford Unger's battlefields and my own beach appear to be unaffected by this phenomenon, existing entirely in isolation. They do not and have never intersected with others. But what if there were another class of beach? One that exists on a higher plane that was responsible for setting this process in motion. And what if the beach in question were none other than Armelies? Cliff may have summoned the director, but I believe his true aim was to seize control of Armelies beach. To exploit its power over every other beach and trigger the last stranding it's the only rational explanation for Cliff's actions. He just wants his BB back. Which is why you have to stop him. If Hartman's right, then we're in serious trouble. But he didn't... Using like, the he Kyle literally just wanted BB back. ...to trigger the last stranding? That's why Higgs went after Amelie, wasn't it? If it was Cliff who put him up to it. It yeah, doesn't. It all fits. He just wants BB back, With the I'm last pretty stranding. sure. He'll finally have his revenge against the world that stole his life and his child. You've got to stop him, Sam. I ain't buy it. <laughs> You've got to make the jump to I ain't buy it. It doesn't fit. It doesn't get fit. Get and get her back. It's our only hope. If you can't, then we're all doomed. You know, that interaction on the beach wasn't like him caring about them. He just wanted to be me. 
<laughs> I mean, they might be telling the truth. It might be actually a thing, but right now I don't buy it. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I can't see where the hell I'm going. Why do I have mule boots? I hope I can get to the distro center. I'm probably not getting the aim to, am I? Because I want to get rid of a few of these bits, I think. I cannot see. <laughs> I think I'm going the right way. Or am I not? Am I actually supposed to be going that way? I can't tell. Yeah, I'm still going the right way because I remember this from where I was going that way earlier. Yeah. Okay, it's just a little right. Can I please go to the distro centre before you scoop me up? I really appreciate it. No. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Well, we might find Die Hardman, I suppose, if we're going in. That's a whale! Why are the whales? Going up! Oh, we're gonna get hit by a whale. Careful. Sorry, the otter hood just really seals the moment. <laughs> This and die. Hand it over. Shoot him, John. Shoot him! I gave you an order. Shoot him! Oh, how sad. See that? That's not the message of a man that wants to destroy the world. Because that wouldn't help BB at all. And yes, he has been in hell and whatnot for several years, but... So why did Bridget have that mask and then Die Hardman took it? I wonder. What is the significance? Talk about this. Is this like Vietnam? It's 
so cool. They don't want to hurt. Oh, he's got the gun. He's got the gun. Clifford Unger. I like how they've gone like Unger, Clifford, Clifford Unger. So this is potentially the conclusion. Switching between Odor at Where are we this time? I'm not really sure that means. <laughs> um, do I get a gun out? I guess. This is very cool. Look at this place. It was so freaking cool. I mean, it's not telling me I'm actually in danger right now, so. Let's grab some of these while I'm here. I'm just running through. Maybe still not worried at the moment. That was strange. Dog's barking. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I'm just running. It's quite peaceful up here actually at the moment. Kind of wondering if I should pick up those uh, at the like, handgun, but I've got three assault rifles at the moment. They're probably not too bad. Oh, I don't have a blood bag equipped either. Let's equip one of them. Better to have that quick. Whoa, whales. <laughs> Am I going the right way? <laughs> Genuinely don't know. I might pick up the foot bag. journey to come, isn't it? What's going to happen um, when I get there? I was say, I don't feel like... I wonder if Die Hardman's here. Just grab some more of these. They're quite handy for a very quick blood refill. I really wish I had more. I have... 23! <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. Oh, here we go. These pits are so cool. Totally fangirling over Mads. <laughs> I'm very happy to see these pits. I'm very intimidated.
so cool. My BB. So no, you can't have it. Baby. I might switch to this. My name is Clifford. I'm going to. Hey, nobody. I don't know if I should have attacked it. I don't know where the others are either. Is that guy dead? He's dead. Oh, there's the other. Hello. Well, the aim on this is, is definitely a little bit spooky. I'm stuck. Let it rebuild. No, bye. Oh. I'm gonna lose consciousness. There's a lot of guys out here. Can we have a rebuild, please? Oh my blood. Thank you. Don't just stand there and get shot. It's the best tip. Doesn't work out well, funnily enough. Not very. Don't have a lot of ammo on this gun left. Where is this guy? I actually can't see him, um, which is not very helpful right now, obviously. <clears throat> Somewhere over there. This is not going so smooth. Not that self rifle. I need it. We need reinforcements. Move, move, move. move. Yeah, I know, mate. Say as I'm very happy to know you. <laughs> I think lethals do work on these guys, right? I've used them before. I'll make it right. I will.
Down there. I was thinking if it's giving me this advantage, like height, it's probably because there's people down there. Can I stealth these guys? That's him over there, look, with his walkie bits. I don't actually know if I can or not. I need you, Evie. Tempted to try, I don't think it would work. Could maybe grenade him instead, though. I was. could have gone down there a bit more. Ow! There's guys everywhere. Run away! <laughs> shoot the motherfucker. Rude. Don't shoot me. I'm a nice person. Honest. I promise. Mistakes made. That was not intentional. This is not being very effectively done. Sorry. I might throw one at you. <laughs> I don't want to be sneaking right now. This is very inconvenient. Stop sneaking, Sam, please. Um, 
running away from me. He's like right underneath me. How have I not hit him? <laughs> How the heck was I missing him like that? Seriously. That makes no sense. We need reinforcements. So if it follows the same pattern as last time, there'll just be one more round. I want my baby back. Well, I want to never get. Don't people ever tell you that? I'm sorry. I'm just wondering if I can get round here and sneak up again. That worked out quite nicely for me last time. I need you, baby. I cannot see a thing. <laughs> My dear baby. My name is Clifford Unger. They see me. Did it that time? Not really. Run out. Um, is that him? Shame my shotgun ran out. Um Evie's getting a bit stressed. I'm getting a bit stressed. I just wanna know who this bloody guy is. <laughs> One, my TV. 
Well, I want never get. We've already been over this. I think I need to stop and sort out BB. Oh, finally. That was rubbish. I did absolutely terrible. Ugh. That took me forever. I defeated Cliff, though. Are you finally done with this nonsense? Can we be friends now, please? Pretty please. I'd really appreciate it. Father. <laughs> oh, this is making me sad. to the future. He was all normal for a second.
But I served under you first. And your family doesn't deserve this. Any of this. Why are you helping me? They catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the black sent us into the Bridget's jaws the of bad hell, guy. it was you that brought us home. Friggin' Bridget! <laughs> I did terribly. Is that a C? <laughs> I ran around that bit so much. A B? That was still a B. I'm not sure how. Locked in syndrome about the dream catcher. Kipus. Dead men liked it. Oh. I was wondering if, like, if John, there was more to that situation. Bring back my baby. Okay, let's see, um, let's see what's next. All the bad lighting. So we in Lake Knot City now? System error. Sam. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I what's reviewed with your the, uh... notes. It looks like you were caught in a supercell and emerged an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero. Not far from Port Knot City. How'd I wind up here then? Huh? Remember Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. Huh. I think Cliff might be Lou's father. He said, give me back my BB. Impossible. Cliff was born. He gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. Didn't feel like he was trying to hurt us. Apart from the bullets. Like, like he just wanted to talk. <laughs> but you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Mm -mm. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know well, about. Yes, that one. The man, Bridget. Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. This message is insurance, in case something happens to me. For Bridget's eyes only, and I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Emily. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll to show me the way. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Yep. Perfectly ordinary. Well, Emily's a blank slate too. No past. No record she ever existed. She's a ghost. And the thing about ghosts... I never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh, shook her hand, touched her? Nope. The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Nobody Emily ever was had. the first. Mama and Hartman were with the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes, Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. 
bullshit. She's real. We've touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you, I've met her in person. When? Lots of times when I was little. Yes, but on the beach. Here's what the president had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel. The doorbell went. <laughs> Very unhelpfully, the doorbell went. Travel to and from the beach, body and all. And that's where she started spending all of her time. Now, if you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. So when she said Emily was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her, I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see, doesn't add up, does it? There's no way Emily could be Bridget's biological daughter. No. Nope. So where'd she come from? Who is she? She looks surprisingly she like even Bridget. Real? How can we be sure that Emily is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Emily is Emily? Hell, for all I know, the EE -E theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us. Which means I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm gonna stop what she started by stopping her. Except you couldn't shoot her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers. Nothing special. Don't have dooms. I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying. I had never tried it. Yeah. I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. She's calling for me. Bridges, don't let me down. Damn. See, I knew I didn't like After Emily. He recorded this. The director jumped to the beach. Or rather, Amelie summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. Huh. It's so obvious to me now. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... Damn it! He was gonna tell Sam. What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lakna, it won't be long before it's completely unusable. So all our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, Sam. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. Charming. I know. I need to tell you something. 
I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach. Didn't take much to make him talk. He say why he betrayed you? He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist void outs, the whole extinction agenda, Amelie was behind it all. Like how she was? I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines I up do. with what Die Hard is. <laughs> I haven't it's trusted her for ages. At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. Amelie gave Higgs his power? Yep. She made him her homo demons. What about Bridget? You gotta tell me what she was doing on the beach? You got an answer for that too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But he said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod, and there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie and her beach. Ah, that's cool. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. Cliff. <laughs> he was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff, Higgs, the director. All three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this E.E. -E really? Bridget. Is it Bridget? <laughs> is it Amelie? All I can say is that the answers are on the beach. What she wants and why. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. Waiting for you on the beach. Hurry back east. Back where it all started. See, now I don't find a lot of that surprising to be honest. Sam, the connection's unstable, so I'll keep this short. We have a job for you. Fragile's condition is deteriorating. If she slips into a coma, there's a chance her soul might become stranded on the beach. Well, we don't want that at all. She needs crypto biotes fast. Luckily for us, Fragile Express keeps a stockpile there in Port North City. Cool. So we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area. Absolutely. I can all do the that. details are on the terminal upstairs. Please, Sam. This is critical. Yeah, that's fine. Um check on me. I've not actually had to go in reverse from Port Knot City over the other way. Um, I just want to see the. Tired, huh? <laughs> yeah, so. Ah, oh, that's how about four and a half stars. Nice. I didn't know it was that high. Um, yeah, so the Amelie stuff, right? Like, I remember back when we were first coming along through, like, the initial way stations and stuff. I've already been over there. We're not going again. Um, in fact, I'll let them have a shower while I'm babbling. Like, everybody was saying, oh, I never actually got a chance to meet her, which I'm pretty sure I picked on at the time. It was just like, no one's ever met her. How suspicious. Um, and then ever since that comment about Higgs, like, at Port Knot City, I've been a bit, like, on the fence with Amelie, <laughs> not, not trusting her at all. Um, so I'm not really surprised that it's kind of coming around to this situation. Oh, the blood. I could recycle that blood and make some more grenades for me. 
Zero. Which one's zero? That the generic one. Um, so I think I'm actually going to leave this episode here though. Because I don't know if the next one will be the last one now. It feels like it might. But then I thought that like ages ago, so you know. <laughs> I obviously can't tell with this game. But yeah, there's lots going on. So I think that that's the Clifford Unger stuff maybe finished off. We might get a little bit more background on it when he meets Die Hardman, if he meets Die Hardman. But where is Die Hardman? Is he still held by Clifford? Maybe. So maybe he will pop up again. I don't know. But we'll see.